In this chapter I'm going to talk about making your Rigify rigs more user-friendly. As with everything that Rigify does, it doesn't really bring new functionality to Blender, it just uses the existing functionality and automates a lot of the tedious processes to make things easier for us. So what we are going to talk about here is going to be organizing your bones on different layers, which you can hide and unhide, and also bone groups which allow you to color code your bones and custom shapes so that they are easily recognizable. Before we go and explore what Rigify does, let's uh, just show the default blade blender behavior. I'm going to press Shift A, Armature, create a single bone, and let's go to Edit Mode, select the bone, and Shift D, duplicate it, maybe two times, and maybe extrude some bones. So now let's go to Pose Mode, at the top of the armature tab, uh, you should have, at the top you should have skeleton and then bone groups. Make sure you're looking at, at these, uh, make sure you're not looking at the rigify bone groups or rigify layer names. We are going to look at them in a second. Under skeleton, you have these squares. Uh, these are uh, the blender's uh, armature layers. Unfortunately, this is just ancient technology from the 90s. Uh, with uh, Blender 2.8, Blender got a really nice overhaul of the outliner, which allows us to organize nice our objects really well. But uh, bone layers are just in, in their old state. So hopefully they'll also get an overhaul soon. But this is what we get right now. So if I select, let's say, this bone and press M, I can move it to another layer. So I'm going to just click on the second layer. And then I'm going to select all of these bones and click M and put them on the, the third layer. And they disappeared because currently these layers are hidden. So if I just click on another layer, it will become visible. And then if I shift click, I can visualize multiple layers at a time. So the, this is uh, the main behavior of uh, Blender layers. And now let's look at the bo at bone groups. Let's uh, click this plus sign three times and it will create three groups. Uh, we can rename them if we really wanted. Let's say this one is yellow, this one is red, and this one is blue. Let's click on the yellow one and from this color menu select a yellow color. For the red, let's select red and the blue, let's select blue. And now uh, nothing has happened yet. I have to select some bones, so I have these selected and click assign. And since I currently have the blue group highlighted, my bone uh, turned blue. Let's select this bone, the middle one, and choose the red bone group and click assign. And this uh, first bone that we created uh, will, will assign the yellow group to it. And as you can see, my bones got really colorful, which can be very helpful when you have a very compl complex rig. Let's um, go to object mode and press shift A mesh circle. So I'm going to make this circle into a custom shape for one, one of my bones. Let's go to pose mode, select this, this bone and go to, to, to the bone tab. And on the viewport display, there's this custom object and choose the circle. As you can see, the circle kept the, the yellow color. So let's try this again. Let's uh, choose the red bone and give it uh, again the circle as a, as a custom shape. And this time the circle is red and here the circle would become blue. So yeah, custom shapes preserve the bone group color. That's what I wanted to point out. So let's see uh, how this works in Rigify. The pre-built metrics have these things set up by default. So let's uh, create a basic human and without further ado go to the, the armature tab and just generate it. And now if I go to, to the end panel item with the generated rig selected, let's uh, hit slash to isolate the generated rig. I'm going to go to pose mode and right away you can see that all of the bones here are color coded. Some are red, some are you know, green and uh, there are these uh, blue uh, twig bones. Uh, the Spine bones are yellow. And another thing that's really important is this rig layers menu. Let's try to click uh, one of the buttons. Let's say the, the torso one. And as you can see, some parts of my uh, rig just disappeared. Let's click that again and they'll appear again. And uh, I'm going to click again and pay attention to, to the layers over here. When I click torso, this layer also gets deselected. So if I click it again, 
it, it gets selected again. Also, if I shift click this layer, then torso is deactivated. So these buttons and these layers are linked. This menu is created by Rigify and ju it's just a, a workflow improvement so that we don't have to work with this ancient technology. It's much easier to to hide and unhide our layers without uh, having to guess or you know memorize where each part of the rig is. So yeah, that's what you get with Rigify. But how is it done? Let's select the meta rig, uh, press slash to go to local view, and let's see how things are set up here in the uh, Rigify uh, bone groups and Rigify layer names. Under Rigify bone groups, I see that I have these six colors already set up. Each of them has a number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Next to the number, there is also a name, which I can change. These uh, colors, these bone groups, are not directly applied here on the meta rig. They're just data that Rigify uses when you click the generate button. And then it applies these colors to the final rig. The way it apply, uh, applies those colors is defined over here in the Rigify layer names. So this field here, Rigify layer names, does two things. First, it creates that menu that I showed you earlier. The menu that allows you to easily hide and unhide layers without using Blender's uh, squares and dots. And the other thing it does is defines a bone group for each layer. So let's look at uh, what, what's happening here. This row with uh, the uh, monitor icon simply uh, shows if this layer is currently hidden or not. So if I, for example, shift click this layer, I, you see that this monitor got deactivated as well. And if I click it here, then it, uh, it gets highlighted here as well. The next uh, field is where you set up the text for your button. This is the text that your button will contain. In the next field, you let uh, Rigify know how you want to organize your menu. And uh, we are going to practice this in a second. It's, it will be easier that, than trying to explain it in words. And here, in this field, you set up a number. The number corresponds to this number here. And this lets Rigify know, know which bone group, which color you want to use for this layer. And it's also very nice. You can kind of, you can tweak these, uh, these numbers. And you'll notice that the text next to it changes. So you don't need to remember those uh, numbers. You can just tweak them and this text will let you know which bone group you're applying. And I, I did skip this part of, of the interface, uh, this dot here that you can click. And I generally do don't use this feature. And as far as I understand, if I go to Preferences Add-ons and look for Selection Sets, there is an add-on that is shipped with Blender that you can activate. I'm not going to activate it because I don't use it. And this button creates functionality that works with that add-on. Since I don't uh, use that add-on, I'm not going to touch this menu either. So that is it. So next we are going to practice with really simple uh, Rigify rig and see what uh, how we can create our custom menu.